So here we go, Anna Lee Waters to serve. Let's play pickleball. Side out. Quality first point to start, and you can already see Jackie Kawamoto pretty aggressive with her court positioning, stepping well over to her sister's side uh, to take a forehand. Oh, I Second loved serve. it. Looked like it was just soft enough and carried a bit deep. Oh, I, I thought it was going to drop a yeah. foot in as I was tracking the ball. the feet of Jackie Kawamoto. Isn't it nice though, it's twin sisters that one's a righty and one's a lefty. That worked out there's well. There's Just there. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Second serve. Missed drive in the tape. And uh, we've already seen it a couple times early in this there's match. It, you can have great offense and it just gets neutralized. And there's the best poacher in the business and it's, it, it goes down almost every time. Yeah, it's it's so good with the two-handed backhand and all the One spots zero, as well. Zero. We saw middle right there. I expect a sharp angle uh, uh, to see that a couple times as well. Side out. Yeah, and the, the other thing that they cause so much chaos with is they play both sides zero, of the one, court one. throughout. They don't stay on one side. It's, it's, it's menacing. Yeah, even even harder to game plan against yeah. them. So not not many, if any, weaknesses, and one, they one, one. switch back and forth on the sides. Like where where do you target? I'm not sure, Dave. Second serve. Yeah, sometimes you you kind of get stuck. Uh, she was she was thinking that ball was going to be five, six one, inches two. higher. It was not. Got to find a way to get that paddle down underneath and go soft right there. Side out. So a little sloppy on both sides, and that's why we're at one apiece. Point. Look at this development here. So the Kawamotos are choosing not to unwind the stack, which throws two backhands in the middle. Keep an eye on that. Definitely an interesting development in that situation. Maybe uh, Jade played a little mixed with Rafi Hewitt and played over on the left side. So ma maybe she's more comfortable over there than we think, Dave. It appears to be a one. T I've seen them do this before. In fact, when they played the Brashes uh, at our first tourney of the year, they did choose not to unwind sometimes. And they're going to stay there again. Second serve. I mean, that's just just in just <laughs> crush the third oh, kamikaze forward kind of get what you want yeah. to just couldn't come up with it Side out. yeah i would expect a lot of balls in the middle of the court finding those two backhands and let them figure it out if they do stay one, that one, way one, you one. see when they're serving they can get the desired positioning yeah a lot of players Pretty similar backhand four, and I think it's clear cut. Both Kawamotos have better forehands than backhands. One, four, two. Point. Yeah, Catherine immediately <laughs> pointed at herself like, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I tried to sneak it by, it didn't work out that Two time. Four, and on top of the counter, down at the feet. We talk about it so much. It's just so important. And when it doesn't go down, it goes down on the one after the one. Yes, said. exactly right. And Annalie Waters, big two-hander up the middle, will not 
be the first time I say that today, or last time, sorry. It was the first. <laughs> <laughs> Just patrolling the kitchen as the right side player. Uh, yeah, right side, strong side. You don't see it too often. Five, two, one. Second serve. Five, two, two. Yeah, definitely dinking with a purpose there, looking to set up. And, uh, you know, those those errors come in bunches. We got a problem. Uh, one or two here and there, not an issue for me. This is an interesting match because a lot of the ladies' doubles has been Firefight City, five, and here, a lot of dinking. saves can she make? Uh, a lot, Dave, <laughs> <laughs> because uh, lob number one and, uh, and a beauty. And you got to finish it 13 shots later. <laughs> Point. Yeah, Jade was like, how did that come back? I mean, that was just hammered and down. But a nice little Four, five, couple of rallies here for the Kawamoto's. Yeah, and I, it's, it's been a mix of errors and winners for Annalie Waters yeah. early, but I like to see that. We actually, she got only about 25% of the balls yesterday yeah. in mix, so to see her shift over to alpha from beta, that's what I want to see. Point. Yeah, not that she was frozen out with no, John. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way it played out for sure. Yes. Point. Timeout yeah, and that's receiver. the one that just can't happen, and Jackie immediately calls time. Timeout called by the Kawamoto's. Let's see what comes of this. Second Get a miss third. Seven, four, two. Side out. And they get a missed uh, transitional ball from her as well. We're geniuses. Yeah, phenomenal timeout. Four, seven, one. Second serve. And unlike the other days where we were talking Mother Nature in a negative way, it is mint today. It's about 60 to 59 degrees right now. Very little wind. Perfect playing conditions. graphic to prove it and that graphic is important so we're putting it out there immediately and uh, but it, it is this is like if you want to play pickleball today is the day Funneling a lot of dinks to the middle there, Adam. Yeah, definitely. And catching the lefty on the left hip, too, with that last Eight, speed up from Annalie Waters is the perfect spot.
Second serve. Catherine was eyeing up the one down the line. Like, <laughs> did I get is like trying to read a green on a putt there, and it stayed in, but then wasn't ready for the next one. Side out. Ooh, just oh. missed. Uh, oh, I uh, and Lee has it. Everyone's confused. I thought it was in live, but then. Oh. Mama, I think it was. Four, eight, one. And they're not challenging. Okay. Point. That one's definitely deep, so that. Okay, we'll see if that becomes significant. Yeah, when Annalie re initially reacts like that, she almost oh, always yeah. challenges, so that is surprising. And here come the Kawamotos, and she might go sit down and think about this as a timeout. So, to him, return to her, and you're like, well, what? And then they don't know what to do. You don't want people thinking when they're playing. Man, I talked sure. about Catherine cleaning up messes. She cleaned up her own right there because she ran around a forehand and gave up six, a lot eight, of court, two. but uh, saved it. Nice. Oh, and is Bye that out. Thomas Wilson? <laughs> yeah, there's certainly it's a carbon <laughs> copy of a, of a Thomas Wilson forehand Ernie from the left side. That was nice, Catherine. Eight, six, one. So they call timeout and no more damage. Second serve. Yeah, she exclaiming, G's A-L, as that one about halfway up the net on the kind of forehand hybrid uh, drive drop. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I, I know they won the point, but how does that one in the middle come no. back? That is really the issue with the Kawamoto's being down a couple points here is finishing. They're getting what they want. Wow, caught her sliding. Great shot by Jade with the backhand winner. Very sneaky, very sneaky. I thought she was just going to push that ball forward with a soft, uh, soft dink shot, and she did not. Second serve. Boy, if that gets all the way to Jackie's paddle, it is going to get demolished. Yeah, I know. It didn't quite get there, though, did it? No. But it's uh, to touch on what you said earlier, not just attack soft stuff uh, as well to the middle of the court at a higher clip than I would have expected from CP and Anna Lee. Yeah, and we are knotted up at eight. Paddle plank, but they're okay. That's a great, and it's a great eye too, because she's a little out of position. Yeah. So when she's crashing back to the middle, eight, eight, that's one. a harder leave, and she let it go nicely. Second serve. And that's what the Kawamotos do. They frustrate you, because Annalie's like, I'm all over this, eight, and they eight, keep two. putting it back and not exactly easy places to rip the next one. There's another example right there, and my goodness gracious, Anna Lee Waters, just forget about it. I mean, that's that's just not a normal shot there. Unreal from that position to get on the outside of the ball. Uh, I mean, unreal. She, she just beat Jackie Kawamoto with a clean winner dink. She tried to do it again during that point. Jackie didn't leap to the middle of that time. <laughs> I've seen that before. Eight, so they nine, get one. one. Oh, yeah. Point. Yikes, a couple missed volleys from Catherine, and 
Again, we've been here the last couple days with the top seeds in trouble. Indecision on which Kawamoto there, Adam. Yeah, I know. And I mean, I like it, but it's just several feet out, Dave. Got to put that ball in play. Again, I think the wrong Kawamoto got that one too. Coming across, Jade was ready to demolish it. So these are those moments. 9-9, nine, 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 nine. Nine. they had two good looks, didn't make them. Point, game point. Point number one for Waters and Parento. Second serve. That's a tough speed up game from point. Annalie Waters off the net cord. Second try to close out game Ten, one. Side out. And they don't do it. So the timeouts have been magic. Yes. Every timeout has gotten two stops after it. So here Nine, we go. Man, they cannot lose that point. I mean, that's that's a head high dink yes. uh, right in the the early stages of that point, and they do not win it. You're exactly right, Dave. And that one does get down, and they get to 10 apiece. And you saw that spin of Jackie Kawamoto on those dinks. Something special. It certainly is. So it will take at least 12. Oh, no. <laughs> the crowd just couldn't deal with that. The crowd all needs counsel. <laughs> Poor Jackie. That, 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 that O from the crowd did not help her feel better about that miss. There you go, Jackie. That's right, and she was anticipating that, already working on that slide step to the middle, and a nice finish for her. That comes up short, so they get the ball back. They've saved two game points. Can they finish? I think it would have been real easy for Catherine to let that ball bounce and just dink it back to reach ten, in ten, with two. the one hander. Good choice from her. A little bit of everything, and that is why we love women's doubles. What a point from the Kawamotos. Okay, ladies, let's go now. That's the kind of point I was expecting Even in this match. Two. Game point goes to the other side. Swings away from the midcourt, and they lose game number one. The Kawamoto save two, and they take it 12-10. Shocking development as the 57-0 loses game one. I want more. We all want more, and we're going to get it right after this. Hey, guys. 
Uh, today I just wanted to tell you about one of my new favorite accessories. It's this chair right here. Uh, it's made by a brand called Click. And this thing is amazing. Um, it's super small, folds down about the size of a water bottle. Uh, it's very easy to set up. It takes me about five seconds to put this thing into place. And it makes a lot of sense for when I'm out in a place like this. I don't even have benches out here. So pop my chair down and I'm sitting pretty. Welcome back everybody to the Veolia Desert Ridge Open and an upset is brewing. And I, yeah, Dave, I want to, I want to see if they continue to go middle with the dinks here. I thought that that was, I was trying to figure out exactly the strategy of that and I couldn't quite come up with much. Maybe not trying to give them angles of some sort, pulling them out wide. It's obviously a conscious decision. Uh, they're coming out hot, really swinging, especially Anna Lee Waters. Two zero one. Wow, what an angle from Anna Lee Waters. Yeah, so a lot, most players are going to snap the wrist there and go for a big overhead somewhere not that sharp yes. of an angle. But the spin that she got on that ball was fantastic. And, and I really like the strategy that, that Catherine brings to the table. Ooh, just deep. First time the... Serving team has won a point after a timeout right there in this match. Second serve. Yeah. Paddle clank does not go their way that time. Right, and, a, and another trigger pull from Catherine and got what they wanted, the miscommunication though. Uh, there's, there's not dinks to be seen right now from the team on the far end. <laughs> no. Uh, what are you guys doing? Get out there and get after it. Oh man, after such a great <laughs> high level point on both sides. Miss of the one handed attack from Catherine. Zero six one. The threat of an ATP, and she didn't do it. Yeah, exactly right. And I think she might have had an, an angle to do so, but pulls it back cross court and got the pop up. Yes, so I can't, everybody. I can't, I can't say too many poor things about that decision. Yeah, trying to catch Anna Lee leaning over to the middle. Uh, just a little flub of a decision there from Jackie Kawamoto. I got it, Catherine. <laughs> yeah, and really, it's it's a great strategy in this situation because I think the power of Catherine Printo and both Kawamoto's is pretty similar. But when you have the heavy-handed Annalie Waters start the fight and know she's going to put the ball away more than anyone else on the court. Point. A little flick from Catherine, and this is a runaway. Eight nothing. Eight zero one. Second serve. Missed her favorite shot. Yeah, well, she can miss five more and still be in the positive in Eight game two. two. <laughs> I mean, 
mean, even that ball. I mean, that's not a no. mid-court soft <laughs> shot. I mean, she that, that is a shot almost everyone is going to block and hit soft. Right, Annalie coming in hot says no, no. Third shot lob from Jackie. And it's uh, it's Second a reasonable third. strategy, but I think it's more of a what else can we do in this game too right now, and just trying to mix Zero it up in two. some fashion. Yeah, at least put another data point in her head as she comes crashing in so aggressively. Side out. Eight zero one. Not advised. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Trying to sneak one by the best player in the world is a very difficult thing to do. Second, That's a great shot from Jackie Kawamoto right there on the move as well. Nine zero two in the ground. That's scrappy Kawamoto's right there. My goodness, they were under siege. Yeah, and a perfectly Zero, nine, constructed one. point from the one seeds. Just too much, too much defense. Second, third. Uh, they stared at it. I did not see it. it. Howard Hepworth Zero, says, nine, I did two. not see it. I don't think Jackie saw it either. I think it did catch, though. Gates. They did, and it's, I mean, there was a couple mixed in there, but the, those plain middle dinks are a thing of the Nine past today. Yeah, because we were both looking at it like, okay. Yeah, so some of the, the previous shots I, I totally understand, but that one has got to be put in play. That is a very mediocre attack from Annalie Waters. We're at pickle point here in game two. Second serve. Game point. 10 0 2. Side out. Couple of tries to get the O oh snap pickle, but they didn't get it done there. Zero, ten, one. Both twins' shoulders just went yeah. down immediately. Yeah, shoulder droop, uh, head to dip, uh, not the best. Point. And they do get on the board. <laughs> the crack. Hey, hey. You don't want that. No, you don't. One, ten, two. Funny, not funny. Stood as much as they could. <laughs> I mean, it was a block party from the midcourt there for a while with six or seven, but yeah, the offensive pressure right now uh, from the ladies on the far end is ridiculous. 
Butler try to end game two, and they do it right there. So they don't get the pickle, but it is an absolute show they put on. Tap dancing all over the Kawamoto's 11 to 1. So can the Twins, the Dayton Flyers, can they regroup? We'll find out. Game three up next. We need someone big. A rapper? No, this person needs more of a saint kind of vibe. Dude, I got it. Super Bowl MVP. Won't be a breeze to get him, but we should go for it. I wouldn't settle for less. So you think you make it on a pro tour? Pro tour? Going pro is in my blood, George. Well, making pros is what we do. Well, let's do this then. We need someone big. A rapper? No, this person needs more of a saint kind of vibe. Dude, I got it. Super Bowl MVP. Won't be a breeze to get him, but we should go for it. I wouldn't settle for less. So you think you make it on a pro tour? Pro tour? Going pro is in my blood, George. Well, making pros is what we do. Well, let's do this then. Somewhere, and if you're gonna find it, I, I, I would lean towards Jackie Kawamoto. When that, hey, that was a heck of a point, and Jade is yeah. the one that fired away. But that's the thing, it's almost like beat them to the punch. Right. If they start the fire first, we're on our heels, Just let's just take a crack early. I, I had the right idea, just the wrong sister. As yeah, Jade Jay is pulling Jay's, some triggers. Jay's like, Adam, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just always think back to Simone Jarjim, and she's like, if I'm getting lobbed, I just lob first. So I think it's the same thing with offense. You yeah. know, if they're just pulling triggers frivolously and it's working, beat them to the punch. Point. Good leave there, and you know the it's amazing the crowd how they react to a team like the Kawamoto's, where the wows come on their defense, not their offense. Side out. And that's that's where you just have to be sh like you just can't take wild swings at thirds like that. Yeah, and it, and it was really a, a footwork issue in my opinion. So uh, from a player with great footwork, so that's that is a problem. And that's what you have to do. If they're going to keep taking wild swings when they're off balance and in the midcourt, you've got to make them pay. Great job by Jackie there. Nice inside out to get to the right hip of Catherine Pinto. Is what is going on with these momentum swings, Dave? Two zero. I love it, and it is Jade slamming on the gas here so far for the Kawamoto sisters. There you go, and dinking with a purpose. So a couple trigger pulls with offense into the body, and also some aggressive dinking as well. Really nice start for the Kawamotos. Wow, and another have that confidence to keep pulling the trigger from all over the court. Second serve. Tough miss for Jade there. Yeah, she did a little squeal after that one. She was not thrilled as that was a pretty standard dink. Side out. Mm. 
Yikes, so two errors that were not there earlier in game three show up out of the timeout. Tremendous dinking from the Kawamoto's there. That's right. And when your partner calls you off and you hit it, you better put it away. Yeah. And Jackie, and Jackie did. Yeah, I don't care if it's hitting the fence. I got a winner. Boy, a high third from Parento and no damage done. So that is a humongous hold. Could they possibly switch at 6 nothing? Got a chance to do it. Second serve. Oh, nice spot, jamming up Jade. She was sitting a little heavy on the forehand and caught her right around the right Four shoulder. Catherine been very active with like the half Ernie over there, Adam. Man, she moves like a champion. It really is. Her footwork, her movement, her first step is all just Can world class. Jade. Oh, oh no, and then the overhead from Jackie's out after maybe the best lob on the run I, you will ever see. Threw it in the corner, Adam. Yes, and I was thinking maybe it was a bit of sun in Jackie's eyes, but either way, a miss hit on that last overhead. Tremendous from Jackie. Yeah, Annalie, she really just can't resist a, no. fa a, fa <laughs> no. a fade away backhand roll angle when she's turning her back one to her opponents. Yeah, sometimes when you make the one highlight reel shot, you think that's a great choice always. Boy, okay, so even though they gave up one, they have one, one, one. such an opportunity in front of them here. And that sails well deep, and at some point, nerves in the scoreboard, I don't care if they're undefeated, are going to be a part of this match. 5-1 with a chance to switch ends. Second serve. I mean, that's just, that's full send. That is just going for the body, and she found it. That goes out off the tape, and the Kawamoto's will switch ends with a five point. I always want to see what happens on this first point on the end switch, especially when a team has taken a lead of this size. Can they just make, can they execute a third and get into this point? Let's see. Wow, and a wild swing from Anna Lee Waters. It's not the perfect third, but they didn't panic again. Yeah, she jammed up one time on the body of Jackie. The last two attempts have been a no-go. One in the third. And there's that inside out forehand from Jade. Eight, one, two. And Ali gets that one down on the ground. So everyone is on the edge of their seat. Can the Kawamoto's get three more points and finish off the undefeated duo? That is a 
tremendous first chance with the ball here. And two big fist pumps from Anna Lee and Catherine Parento. Can that be the point that springboards them? Two, eight, one. Jade goes to the same spot twice. And I like it, too, because she goes inside out. That's Two an Annalie Waters. No offense to yes. Catherine Parento, That's but I would rather take that ball at her. Yeah. What a Ooh. flick from Catherine Parento. That is filthy. Oh, yes, it was. Really good stuff to part the Red Sea right down the middle. So the heartbeat is racing for the Kawamoto's here. Two points have been won. And so, okay, it hit her. It fires it, okay. and goes off the paddle. Yeah, uh, yeah I was like, oh, no. Was the <laughs> here we go. So they give up two, but they still have a five point lead. Sets it up with a beautiful combo, and it's 9 3 Kawamoto's. 9 3 1. Thank you, sir. Trying to set herself up for an Ernie. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Second chance to get to 10. Jade has cranked her aggressiveness here, Adam. She certainly has. She's playing really big and a nice shot from Anna Lee to get it to the backhand of Jackie. Not easy as she is very good at sliding to the left. Point. Okay, big swing from Jackie there. 491. And another one with a ball that was probably flying, so they're not going to watch anymore. Two quick points for Catherine and Anna Lee. And I'm getting a little knot in my stomach, Dave, yes. so I can only imagine what the Kawamoto's not right there if you don't execute it. And that's crazy. The Kawamoto's choose to play the wrong side when they've been money. And the way they've been all, all day long, they didn't switch. And that time they get caught. So now they're going to have bad intentions in their mind. Do we switch and get in trouble or do we play the suboptimal side? Okay. Yeah. But I can't imagine not doing the switch. Yeah, and unfortunately for the Kawamoto's, they were on a one, so now a two, and here we go. That sails deep, and that's another problem with the switch. The lead is but one. Yeah, and they will be switching here. Off the tape, and it is nine apiece. Timeout receiver, 992. Ah, Dave. Wow, and the Kawamoto's have to take their second timeout. It was eight to one. And now we are tied. 992. 992. Nine, nine, and 
and they get it on the ground at Jade's feet, and it is match point for Catherine and Annalie. Uh, Annalie was in there. I was trying to keep her out, and didn't work out. 10-9-2. Perfect off-speed roll from Jade at match point down. Didn't overhit it, Adam. And hit the shoe of Annalie Waters. Wow. So they save they save game points in game number one. Oh, no, a little off balance. Yeah, just trying to go behind Annalie Waters, but once again, not just a standard shot. Second chance to tie it at 10. And Catherine with a little flick down at the feet of Jade Kawamoto and second chance to win this with a riveting comeback. Pulls the trigger, and Jackie is up for the task. Twice. Wow. Catherine, no patty cake from her. She is going for it. Third try. Oh, uh, oh it stays in. That stays in. Oh. And that will do it. Catherine, Parento, and Anna Lee Waters make that 58-0. How in the world did they do it? We'll talk to them after this. The Kawamotos were right there, up 8-1 in the third, but don't get it done. The official ball of the PPA Tour. and Catherine Parento come roaring back and win a riveting quarterfinal match against the Kawamoto sisters. They're standing by Dave Fleming with Adam Stone here, and I'll start with UAL. How in the world did you do it? It was 8-1. Yeah, I think we're still sneaking by from yesterday to today. I think, I don't know, I think Catherine and I, even though maybe we thought we were going to lose at some points, I think we just kind of always believed in our games and we knew we were finishing on the good side and side is making a big difference here, as you can see. So I think we just had some belief and started being more aggressive and came back. <laughs> Catherine, well done out there. Adam Stone here. I was on the edge of my seat for that entire match. We all know you're a great mover and a great consistent player. Has it been a point of emphasis for you to work on some of your offense uh, to make your game more well-rounded? Yes, for sure. I think I was well known as a defensive player in the past, so I've been working really hard on being a little bit more offensive. I felt like I became a little too defensive. I mean, on the bench, Athena and Lida kept telling us, you know, you got to be aggressive. We got to be aggressive first. And I felt like we did a really good job once we were down 8-1. It's like, okay, at this point, like, if we just play t and we're scared to lose, it, we're not going to win. So we just got to go for it. And then worst case scenario, we do lose. But um, I'm so happy to get a W. <laughs> I don't think we've ever been that, like, enthusiastic yeah. after it's points. It's like we won the, the finals know, already. <laughs> Yeah, that was one massive hug after a quarterfinal win for a team that's <laughs> undefeated there. Uh, AL, I want to ask you a little different question. Uh, you're, you just turned 17. There's so many Sparkies learning pickleball now and, and starting. And what would you say to parents or even to an 8, 10, 12-year-old that admires you, admires Catherine, and wants to one day be like you. What would you tell uh, those parents and, and, and those kids about how, how to start the journey? 
Yeah, well, I would say keep watching Pro Pickleball. I think that's a huge thing, especially I was exposed to it as a kid because my mom played, so I'd always watch, watch, try to learn some of the pro shots. But I think the main thing is I see a lot of kids taking it super serious. Uh, and I think just have fun, you know? There is, you have to be serious in practice, but at the same time, you know, you don't want to do something you don't have fun doing or don't love doing. Uh, so I would say I didn't really start taking it seriously until I was a little older than 12, even though I was playing pro. I was still just having fun. Now I take it a bit more seriously, but uh, yeah, I would say at that age, just have fun and play pickleball. Well, have fun and play pickleball is a great mantra for all of us that love the sport. Ladies, you had the crowd buzzing as you kept roaring back. Congrats. We'll see you in the semifinals. And uh, thanks for putting on quite a show. Thank you. Thanks.